How you doing guys? Punk here. Um, we don't have a lot of time. Uh, I don't have a lot of time to talk. I'm shooting this Artilla Bear. Which is gonna blow me up. It's a big bear. He's right there. He's, uh, shooting me with art artillery, and I'm probably gonna die. Um... Eh, but I don't want to. Must not death. Must kill it. Because I've got a strong gun. Oh, no. Could you die, bear? Shit, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die! I don't wanna die! I'm too pretty and young to die. Did I die? No? What happened? Am I dead? Uh, what just happened? Okay! Fucking asshole! I'll, I'll get to it in, in a second. Right now I'm gonna kill this fucking jellyfish. Okie dokie then. Balls to the wall, this is bullshit. Alright! Now! Now, we're going back to the uh, regular scheduled program. Then I'll fill in the details later, because I had to instant record this, like, very quickly, so... Sorry about that, but I'll be right back with you guys in a little while, so have fun. Hi, doing, guys? Punk here, and welcome back to Edge of Space. Now, I've got a lot to show you guys, again, because I've been playing the game for, I don't know, a while since the new update. I didn't do much, um, as far as I wanted to, because I wanted to show you guys everything for the new update um, it is no longer an opt-in it it should be everyone should have it um, if you don't have it try updating your game or try the opt-in which is go preference in your library um, left right click on the edge of space and then go to properties and go to betas and then opt in if that's still a thing that they're doing I'm sorry for my face I gotta shave my fuzz off I haven't done that all right new things to show you um, that you haven't seen or you may have seen and um, some of you may be coming off the sale looking at videos um, so uh, every time there's edge of space sale on steam I get really lucky <laughs> that's basically what made my original video uh, so popular was that people looking up and I got very lucky so thank you handyman for making an awesome game and having great timing because I put that video I put the original video up um, like a few days before it went on sale and then after that it went haywire and I was like yay anyway new stuff um, uh, and I, I want to start doing um, normal let's plays instead of just tutorials but I think this helps out people more than just normal let's plays um, so this is different. This is a command node. Uh, it's the very first one that you can get in this basic construction. It's the command node, which is a starting um, command center. Um, and everything's a lot easier to craft now, by the way. Um, you may notice as well that my mining pick is completely changed. Now, I will explain that in one second. This is no ordinary mining pick. It is a overcharged laser pick. Now, the cool thing about the overcharged laser pick, and the downside is, is it's got a short range compared to the other one. Well, that's not really the cool thing about it, but that the cool thing about it is, well, just just watch. I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to start mining. It mines a lot faster and a lot quicker, so I can clear this and quite a few seconds um, and it will heat up everything around me and all I have to do is swing and uh, that's one thing that you should, guys should get guys and girls actually you should all get familiar with is swinging um, your, your picks uh, to mine because there's going in a straight line isn't gonna be fast see now I did that in a few seconds I, I made this big hole in about five seconds, five, four, about five or six seconds, maybe ten. 
Um, also, the arc light no longer uses ammo, it goes off your energy. So if you watch the arc light, um, my energy bar, boop, it goes down every time you shoot. These are timed and they will disappear over time, so it's still a good idea to use your plasma torches. Um, this is so becoming a tutorial. Um, I don't mind that. I that is that is not what I envisioned when I first started this series, but it's been a good series and I'm going to keep doing it as long as it's interesting. New stuff's always being added, which is great, so there's so much that I can show you guys. There's a lot that I can show you guys, and it's great. Now, you may be wondering what this is. This is a... Uh, it is an outfitting station. You use that to, let me go to my character menu, to equip your kits. You can no longer just poof them into your kit slot anymore. You actually have to uh, use this, you have to make this, and then get this. Um, and I did have actually like 200 aluminum because I just found a lot of it. I got really lucky. I've also got some titanium as well. Um, now, uh, those of you that are new to my videos may be wondering, what kind of armor is this? Well, this is a proto-armor. Now, the proto-armor is a, a vine-based armor. It's it's an explorer. It's in the explorer category of um, armor sets. Now, why is that so important to know? Well, it's important because you're going to need to chop down all these trees. But, I want to show you... Oh, and before I forget, uh, the gun I am holding, it is very dark... The gun I am holding um, is actually a new gun. Well, this is the arc light, but the gun I was holding is a new gun. It is in the weapon section. It is a phase carbine, which is basically the Mark I. Um, it it also has a different. Uh, if you can see that, you slow it down. It looks like little squibblies. Um, th that's the new ammo type for the, the phase ammo. There's all sorts of new stuff that was added. It's great. I'm loving the game. I've, I loved it the day I started, and it's sad because people are blaming Handyman for Starbound's fuck-ups. Starbound is a decent game, but the deve developers just said fuck it, Chucklefish said fuck it and left it to rot. Um, now. People that are blaming Handyman and saying that they abandoned the game, they haven't. This is proof. This right here is proof that they have not abandoned this game. And if you say otherwise, someone should slap you upside the head. Not hard, but they should. Because if you go back and you watch my original video that I posted, and then compare it to this, there have been so many updates and so many changes that it's a totally better looking game than it was when I first started. There was a, a little bit to do in, when I started, um, a little bit to learn, but this, no, this is a completely different game. It's the same game, same skin, but it's a completely different remake. It is so much better than it was when I first started. And if you think otherwise, I don't know what to tell you. You shouldn't be playing. I'm sorry. Now, a lot of people have subscribed to me because of this particular series, and uh, I, I think that's really great as well. Uh, it's the one that I'm going to treat right, and like I said, that's why I usually do weekly videos on it, because that's usually when a lot of updates come out. Now, uh, they may not always be um, major updates, but this one was a big one. And I'm really glad. I didn't mind starting over it at all for this. Um, that's ice. So, uh, those of you who have been around the block with me before, you know the drill. I'm going to speed this up. Alright. You may be wondering why I actually um, decided to mine that. Well, you need ice now to make cryo rods. I don't think cryo rods are automatic loot. And those are your crabs now. You also get those and you get the little guys. Those guys are kind of tough. The gun you start out with is piddly and crappy. And there's the toad that I was telling you guys about, but I didn't show you. 
Um, I don't know if they drop anything other than biomass. Um, they aren't particularly tough, but watch out for their jump because they'll just kind of hop on you. You can kind of stun them. I don't know if that's the thing that's supposed to happen, but it does. Just kind of stun them and they go, eh, and they're just there. Um, Alright, so now we're in a lower biome. Um, we're slowly starting to get to the second biome as we go. There's the snail again, which I can... It doesn't attack, it's just a non-passive species. But you can't walk through them, so they'll sit there and push you. Which is kind of funny, so don't fix that. I like it, because now I'm traveling by snail. Well, sort of. It's not really helping, but... Oh, that's a new crab. Eee! That's That's a very new crab. Okay, so there's the plasma trees. The oh, shit. I did not mean to shoot you. I did not mean to shoot you at all. I am so sorry. They still hurt. Those little balls, they still hurt. Ugh, go away, plasma balls. No. Okay. And the clip that you saw earlier was from this biome. <coughs> it was... I don't know if they... Did they... I want to see if they upgraded the plasma balls tracking. No. You still have that... Good, that's good. You still have that, um, that distance that you can stay far away and be safe from them. Now, I will stress this. Your health is not going to auto-regenerate because you're not going to have the, um, rest or... Ooh, wow, those give a lot of experience for killing them. Um, and if you can see, my black bar here, here, oh, and they drop protoplasma as well as trees. I think trees dropped that as well. Um, I'm almost full. Once it's full... You, you need to use them, otherwise you're not gonna get anything else. Uh, it's just gonna end. Alright. Enough uh, talking. Oh, and what you saw me fighting earlier was an... Uh, it was some sort of bear. Uh, survive the hazard zone. Time left. Anomaly nearby. A what? Are those... Holy balls, no! No, 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 no! Oh my god, no! 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 Why would I do that? That... No! no. What is this? What is this... Black magic... Okay. What was that? I know... I get that that was an anomaly... I can't speak. Anomaly zone, but... No! Thank you! Alright, there's only one left. Did they hurt? Oh, yeah, they hurt. Oh, yeah, they hurt. They hurt. They hurt bad. Oh, there's no way I'm going... No. There's no way. There's. I'm not going to do it. Oh, God. No. No! Oh, shit. I'm dead. There's no way. There, no. I'm not going that way. Nope. We're going to go left. We're not going right. We're going left. That was an... Oh, that was cool. That was an advanced form of the pro the plasma trees, which was neat. Oh, I'm so oh, I'm so excited. I'm giddy as hell. Uh, I did find a come get go. I'm not using the standard jetpack either. I'm using the proto jetpack. You can see it right there. Um, to craft proto anything uh, armors, you need a special. Well, bye. I have a wonderful time down there! You need a special seed. Now, it's called a plasma seed. I think. Or it's a proto seed, never mind. You use it by cutting down these pulsating plants. There's different types of pulsating plants. But that's the general gist of it. Um, my next cue to, to do is for data is to be able to get the health regeneration thing because it's... I know going down you have to have health regenerative stuff I do actually oh that's that guy I wonder how far his range is I want to see what, what that drops that's the green one okay so you can shoot them from a safe distance but they're a lot harder than regular plasma trees I want to see what they drop sorry so I'm just gonna sit here and talk to you but um, when I was fighting before um, when you saw the opening of the game and I was just totally off guard which I I I shouldn't be off guard. I should always have my recording stuff up and ready to go. Um, but I didn't. So that was my...
fault, especially when there's so much new content added. Ooh, what was that? It dropped a thing. Oh shit, there's more. And I shot, I shot it, so I mean, I can't just... Oh, hi crab, you're, you're gonna die. Those crabs are gonna die. You, you aren't what I wanted to fight. They hurt too. Huh. Are you attacking me? No, okay, you're not attacking me. Well, I mean, I could just stop shooting them and they, they'd leave me alone, but I really just want to kill them because they give so much... See, look, my science is full and I need materials so I can craft schematics. What is that? What is the green thing? We're gonna go find out here in a second. Did it... Inventory? Ah, oh, crap. My game may be a little bugged after that fight. Yeah. It's at least going a little slow. Okay, that was a head under coordinate longitude loot. Okay. So, that is no longer tied to just um, the headhunter cab, uh, caves and stuff that you guys saw in the last episode. So that's neat. Um, what is this? Oh, you can also get an overcharged uh, <laughs> saw. But I don't know exactly. <laughs> Sorry, exactly what that does. Okay, so there's there's so much cool. Oh, I'm all giddy. I'm really happy. There's so much cool stuff going on right now in this game, and it's insane. There's there's enemies that I haven't seen. Uh, it's, it's so much fun. It's so much more fun. There's so much added, and if you just bought the game. You're not gonna regret it. Um, and I will warn you, it is early beta, early access. They're, I think they moved to beta stage, actually, which is great. Um, but it is early. And let me just wobble this tree down. When you break trees, they actually fall. It's pretty, actually. Instead of just poofing now, they just, they just poof and they fall. Um, This is not made, a lot of people have the misconception, and the reason why the reviews are so negative is because a lot of people that are happy with the game usually don't write good reviews. Not because they don't want to, but because the game's good to them so they don't really feel like it. I'm going to do a review, I'm going to put it up on the Steam page, and uh, I'm going to do that. And I'm also going to do show the comparison videos from where they were and where they went, and hopefully that'll help people understand it. This game isn't, and hasn't been abandoned, because a lot of people, like I said, are accusing Handyman Studios of abandoning the game, and they haven't. This is proof of that. They, they haven't. They didn't take your money and run. I know Early Access is iffy for a lot of people, but I'm really glad I bought it in this, because it's been a fun ride, even though I've had to restart. And, oh no, this isn't good. Hey, look, a lot of... Hey. Wait, 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 what's my exposure? I didn't even bother to check. Oh, uh, character. What is my exposure? Statistics? Exposure. Where is it? My maximum health is insanely high. Uh, exposure resistance? Well, it doesn't say. Uh, well, it's whatever this is. Exposure 10, rank 10, plus rank 2, so 10, 11, 12, plus whatever the standard armor is. I don't know, it's high enough for me to be able to be down this far and not die. Um, I'm going to bite my words here in just a second. I'm going to reach the limit. Oh, biomass. That's the... F yes, please. That's the first time. Sorry, guys. i got to mine this. This is the first time I've found biomass in a clump since I started. I've been getting it from killing stuff, actually. Um, hi, Frog. How are you? So I'm gonna mine this. Um, but yeah, I'm glad I can show you this much stuff. I didn't think that they added so much. I I went through the changelog like, quickly. I didn't, I didn't read it full. I usually don't read changelogs full. Uh, I know that's a bad practice, especially for the game type like this. But it's mostly because I want to be surprised with you, the, uh, to those that are watching. And uh, 
I think it makes it more fun. There's ice behind there, but I'm not going to grab it. Uh, but yes, the downside of the overcharged thingy is that... Oh, more aluminium. Uh, is that it's really short. It's got a short fire distance instead of the standard pick, which I destroyed. Um, not such a smart move, but whatever. Um, this It's my game. I'll be dumb. Oh, there's a lot of low biomass. Bunk. Sweet. I need that. Oh, there's some more down there. Well, I mean, it's that, but okay. So what we're going to do is my favorite thing in the world. Come on. Okay, so we're going to... All right. Do that. Boop, boop, boop. Speed this up. Okay, good. Oh, shit, I got stuck. That happens sometimes. You, you sometimes do get stuck. Okay, now I will tell you guys this. You're not going to be seeing everything that I'm playing because this is going to be my main character. I'm going to be playing a lot with this one. I'm not going to go make another one. Oh, well, I got to show you. What? Is that an evil plant? Is that plant evil? I can't, I can't seem to chop it with this. So, is it going to poof me? Oh, well, I thought it was going to explode. It looked evil. Anyway, this is a tech upgrade station. Now, I don't know if they change. Well, it makes a sound now. What did that do exactly? Did I get a thing for that? No, it just gave me a tech upgrade, but I don't know what it was. Uh, statistic enhancements. Let's see. Tech. First energy upgrade. I, I don't know. It didn't tell me what that was. Um, these are the upgrades. These are, oh, it was engineering. Okay. So, I get one in. Okay. So, now they actually, okay. So, the little point is, that's my first one. I get plus a quarter percent speed and one inventory size so I get an extra inventory slot um, and that's good to have because the reason my inventory is so large now is because I'm using a backpack which adds more but apparently we got a lot more space now so we can scroll that's really great um, th there's so much stuff that I honestly did not know was in the game and I did not plan on showing you guys because I had no clue it was here that's great but that's so great <laughs> I'm sorry I'm fawning over the game, but, uh, I mean, this is one of those projects that I hope turns out like Terraria, um, as far as content-wise, so much of it, and just fun gameplay in general. Um, it's a lot more balls-to-the-wall-ish, sort of, um, uh, as far as the the crafting and survival goes, because you actually have to go look out for this stuff. And yes, it's a bit of a grind to get some of this stuff, but once you get better equipment, it becomes a lot easier, as you can see. Um, I'm mining a lot more faster than I normally would with a standard pick, but you, you'd literally have to shoot one block every time. Um, I need this ice. I gotta have ice. Uh, so I can make more cryo rods, because I died a lot. I started with whatever the, the normal count is now, and I died a lot. <laughs> I did not good to die, because I was just... I fell completely off this cliff face at one point. Uh, and there was nothing I could do but scream and cry like a little bit. Oh, a lot of aluminium! Ah. So this is shaping up to be a really good game, and I'm very glad. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to sell this game to you guys. Um, I will, more than likely, as I get a chance, probably around December, um, I'm going to be doing another live stream. Uh, of this game, but I'm going to be giving away a copy or two of Edge of Space, so I'll 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 post a date or something. I'm gonna I'm gonna go too far. I'm going too far. This is as far as I can go, which is actually pretty far. Wee! Ooh, hi. Hello there. Hello, wall. I need. I'm gonna have to build a base at some point, so I can get back home instead of killing myself to get back home. And there's a new feature. 
you can um, spawn where you died from instead of respawning all the way back at your master cryopod. Um, but respawning at your master cryopod is an option should you so want to take it. I'm going up! Oof, well this is as far as I can go up, and I'm going up fast. But I don't know where I'm going to come up. I'm probably going to come up nowhere near where I need to be. So the easiest thing to do when you're lost is literally exit the game and then re-enter the game. So that may be what we're going to do. Maybe. Because I've got so much stuff and I want to craft some more stuff to, uh, to see if I can get the full set of Roto Ama and uh, show you guys that after I get the seed. Oh, right. The red... Oh, no! No! No thank you, and goodbye! Get away! This is the red jelly. They hurt. It's a mini red jelly, actually. They hurt. They're not friendly. They hurt. Uh, oh, the crap. There's another one. They hurt. I. That's all I'm gonna say, is that they hurt. I mean, they drop... Um, oh, there's another type of goo as well. There's a strong goo and a uh, weak... Strong and weak charged goo, so there's two types. There's also soft and hard shittens, um, which the crabs drop. Um, okay. Wait, is there a recall? No, I haven't gotten that yet. I, I assume that's going to be craftable at some point. Um, as I end up crafting so far. I got more dirt and a proto leaf. I want a proto See there. What's that? Crab? Crab and a jellyfish. Bye, jellyfish. Have a wonderful time. Get back there, you bastard. No one likes jellyfish. I mean, they're pretty to look at, but damn, you one wrong move and you, they sting you and you die. All right, I don't know where I'm going. Ooh. Well, that's where I'm going apparently. Um, on this asteroid. Um, I need. I could at least place these and figure out where I've been. That would be a good idea. Look at the crab. Um, these are still too, um, too to craft. I'm glad. I'm so glad I went with the proto armor. Um, not only. Wait, have I been here before? Please tell me I've been here before. I wasted that. I know I wasted that. I'm sorry. I'm an idiot. Okay. So I'm gonna do what I said I was gonna do and. Give me a second, guys. All right, and we're back. So, hi. Um, another thing that that does is that um, restores your health. Uh, it's I don't know if that's a bug or if that's meant to happen. I personally don't mind it because at, at this time, I, it's not like I constantly exit and then pop back in. Uh, no, I don't do that. It's just it helps when you don't have the option and you don't want to die or you don't have no cryo rods to uh, respawn because I think once you run out of cryo rods you lose everything that you had in your inventory and that's not good. So what we need is we need our proto seeds. We need this. Uh, we may need this. I don't know. But what we're going to do is craft our lovely new armors if I can craft everything. So all I need is the pants and the helmet. So I'm gonna craft the pants first. Damn! I don't have enough to craft the, uh... to craft the, uh... Um, the helmet. Oh, that sucks. But I got a lot of biomass. That's great. Luckily, dude, I tell you, boys and girls of all ages, let's go for a round in the treehouse. Yes, I want to destroy the item. <laughs> It's probably not a good idea, Mr. Punk. Yes, you shut the hell up, self. I don't need any advice from you. Yes, you do. <coughs> Sorry about the coughing as well. <coughs> and whatever that was. Okay, so I will, I, I will, um, explain this to you. Oh. Improves your jetpack efficiency. Okay, so all. New armors, like Proto Armor, or maybe even the Earthen Armor. No, Earthen Armor, no. But Proto Armors, uh, maybe Standard Fighting Armors, I don't have any. This is the only set that I've got so far. 
which is cool because I'm really like a grass monster from space, um, is you get set um, bonuses now, which is, as you can see right here, up up and up and away, which improves my jetpack efficiency, which is jump plus one, so I can jump a little bit higher, and it adds it, not a lot, but it's better than nothing. So the full set gives you overall benefits, um, which is good because I mean I usually use a full set because I mean it's fun. So what we're gonna do now is probably base construction. So I can, I don't know, I don't know, see there's the fighter armor, I plan on showing you guys as much stuff as I possibly can, and this is the explorer armor, I need 200, no I need 163 more experience, which is I need to craft more data to do this, um, but that's the next version of the proto armor, which is exo and exo chest leg armor, which are probably better what I got but what I do need to do um that's to get the raptor the transportation I currently don't know how to do research and development because I have not found uh the the kit for it I, I haven't found it in my data so that is the thing that I need to find maybe I get it um from tribal leg Ooh, that looks kind of neat. I may try that and just see if I can make it, just for the hell of it. Um, but I really would like some research and development because I don't know what that is. Um, so, there's that. But what we need to do, or what I need to do, is probably... I'm going to go for... What's the utilities? I need 150 things. Okay, so at, at rank 3, you're going to get your toolkit and then your regeneration, obviously. Um, and that's a new weapon as well, is the phase rifle. Um, so we may do that. So I need how much need? I need 65. What's 5 times 65? No, 5 times... What's 5? Five, 5 times what equals 65? Is what I need to be asking. But I also need more utilities. But I don't know what... You, oh, right. Just, yeah. Stuff and things and whatnots. What's my next... I'm sorry, I'm just rambling on, guys. Uh, small turret. That's to defend your base in lower areas, because stuff can blow it up. But anyway, I am going to do this on my own time. I hope you guys enjoyed this particular episode. I'm going to be recording this a lot more as I get more stuff. So they're probably not going to be limited to once a week now. Um, probably. Well, I'm going to say yeah, once a week, because I don't want to overdo it. Because once a week is been about how long I've released new episodes of Edge of Space, but we're going to get Julie back, which is my Firefox. We're going to get her back. we got to get her back. Actually, I think we can get her back right now. So, that's what we're going to do, actually. That's, that's what I wanted to do, was get my Julie back. And if you don't know who Julie was, she is a Firefox. Uh, Julie, where are you? I want you back. There she is. Oh, I need a cloning tank to make her. <laughs> okay. Well, I got. I can make a cloning tank, I think. Can I make a cloning tank? Will you let me make a cloning tank? Clay, mineral, aluminium, since I have so much aluminium. I have enough ice. Do I have enough of this? Yes. Do I have enough of this? Yes. <laughs> Yay! Now the question is, can I place more than one of these things? I don't know. I, I don't know if I even have enough space to place the cloning tank. Nope. I do not. I'm gonna have to make a space. Balls. Okay. Let's make a space. I'm not gonna be able to get out of here. But that's okay. I also don't know if this will connect. It may not connect. It may not need to connect. Does it need to connect? I don't think it needs to connect. Okay. I don't think it needs to connect. I think it's just a workstation. Uh, crafting. Now where's Julie? Oh, uh, I'm so hungry. My stomach hurts and it's upset. But I can't stop playing this game. I actually do need to go cook soon. Uh, Firefox. I have enough biome. No, I don't. Damn it, I used it. Well, 
We'll get Julie back in the next episode, I promise, guys. Because I really miss Julie, and I really want her back, and we're going to have her back. Whether she wants to be back or not. So, with that, um, thank you guys so much for watching and supporting my channel. If you have subscribed, if you haven't, um, think about subscribing. You don't have to, but it'd be nice, because I really enjoy what I do. Um, it's just really fun to do stuff like this for the entertainment value alone for me. It gives me something to do, and it gives me a reason to play games. So that's that's a plus. Anyway, ooh, I went up 50 health and... Uh, yeah. Anyway, have fun, guys. Um, leave a comment in the description. Or not in the description. Every time I do my outro, I do that. Leave a comment in the comments below, and let me know what you guys think about the game or the episode in general. Um, and thank you all so much. Um, you can leave a like if you want. It'd be great as well. Um, and subscribe if you want to. But that would be awesome. So have fun, guys. And I hopefully see you guys later. So have fun. And goodbye. I'm, I'm giving it all she's got, Captain. Get over there. Yeah!